Hey, Redemption Gateway. Matthew Brazelton coming at you with your daily dose for today. We're in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. And this is a passage of scripture that specifically addresses elders or shepherds um, that are to shepherd the flock of God and to do so willingly and eagerly. And so I uh, thought I'd talk to you a little bit about that as a, a fellow elder overseeing uh, the Gateway flock. We have seven staff pastors who are paid, and then we have six uh, lay elders who serve as volunteers. And it's really the role of those pastors and elders to oversee the, the function of the church as a whole. So we have other significant ministry leaders that really kind of focus in particular areas, but we see that role of pastor elder as kind of a God-given uh, role to be concerned with and feel the responsibility for uh, the church as a whole. And so uh, one of the things that makes me eager and willing to do that is when uh, I know that the people that I'm caring for are, um, are praying for me. And so uh, one of the things I wanted to encourage you with in this daily dose is just to be praying for the pastors and elders and ministry leaders of our church in this unique season. Um, there are three ways that you can be praying for me and praying for our other, uh, our other shepherds. The first one is really personally. Uh, I think each of, each of us, uh, elder or not, have had to establish new norms and new rhythms for how we relate to the Lord and we relate with one another. And um, we really do need and appreciate your prayers, uh, specifically as it relates to just connecting with God in this interesting time. So that's the first thing I'd, uh, I'd ask for prayer for. The second thing would be just to pray for our families, uh, our wives in particular. My wife um, is doing an amazing job in this new normal. Uh, she went from enjoying a few hours of, uh, of kind of uninterrupted time during the week while our kids were at school to now it feels like she's on from uh, morning till evening. And uh, if your situation is anything like mine, she is the default parent, which means the kids yell mommy way more than they yell daddy. Even when she's not here, they run up to me and call me mommy, which is funny. But uh, pray for our families, pray particularly for our wives. And then thirdly, uh, you can pray for the overseers and elders of our church to help shepherd us well through the transition period that's kind of on the horizon now. We've all been thinking and praying a lot about how to reopen the church as our state and our community begins to reopen from this, these coronavirus quarantines. Um, and that's a sensitive, that's a sensitive topic. Um, and we really want to be motivated by and led by love in that. Um, there are people in our congregation with, with very strong opinions and very different opinions um, on this topic of how it should be handled. And so uh, we want to love them and lead them well, and that's going to require a lot of wisdom. So really covet your prayers, appreciate your prayers there. Um, it is a joy and a, and a sincere privilege to be an elder at this church. Uh, I've seen time and again God's grace uh, through the people that we get to lead and care for. Uh, I'm thankful for the team I get to serve on, and I'm thankful for the prayers of our congregation. So. Have a great day. God bless you. Uh, I'll be praying for you. Appreciate your prayers as well. Bye-bye.